I am going to explain about all logic gates designing using VHDL code. If you want to get my future videos, please subscribe to my channel. Coming to the AND gate, AND gate is having two inputs, two inputs and one output. I am assuming this is an A is an input and B is an one more input then the output for AND gate is y is equal a dot b for example if the inputs are 0 0 a is 0 and b is 0 then the output will get 0 and if the inputs are 0 1 0 into 1 equal to 0 if the inputs are 1 0 then the output is 1 into 0 equal to 0 and similarly if it is 1 into 1 then the output will be 1 and we will get 1 so this is an R gate R gate R gate symbol we know that and 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 1 coming to the NAND this is a NAND gate NAND gate symbol and uh, NAND gate 0 into 0 0 bar means 1 0 into 1 0 bar means 1 G 1 into 0 0 bar means 1 1 into 1 1 bar means 0 so like that it is an NOR gate so this is a NOR gate a plus b whole bar means it is a NOR gate this is a symbol and 0 plus 0 0 bar means 1 0 plus 1 1 bar means 0 1 plus 0 1 bar means 0 1 plus 1 1 bar means 0 this is an XR so XR output we know that that is A B bar plus A bar B A bar B 0 multiplied with I will take one example 0 0 bar means 1 plus first example I am first inputs I am taking a bar means 0 bar means 1, B means 0 is equal 0 is the output. Like that we can take and we know that the XNOR output, this is an XNOR symbol that is XNOR output is AB plus A bar, AB whole bar. If we take first one, so 0 multiplied with 0 plus 0 into 0 whole bar is equal 1. So like this, uh, you will get the input outputs for the logic gate. Coming to the VHDL code. So just open the Xilinx tool. Open the Xilinx tool. It will take some time. Then go to file go to file left side corner yes file new project and uh, go to file new project here we can give any name I am giving all gates all gates any name it is already it is there all gates I am giving all logic gates click on next next finish and then go for left side and click on right click new source select VHDL module all logic gates here also can give any name I am giving the name all logic gates click on next no need to add dot v file and here I am giving the inputs A and B and the outputs are I am giving y output is y and gate 
here no need to give and just for separation I am giving you can give y1 y2 y3 like that also second gate I am giving y or gate y or next y nand and next y output of nor output of not not gate output of xr output of y xr and uh, output of x nor y is output x nor x nor so these are the output a b are the input i am changing here you can see this uh, output this is an output output for uh, nand gate output for uh, nor gate this is output for not gate output for xr gate output for this one so now click on next finish so this is the code uh, here we need to write our code so all the codes i am writing here i will explain here this is an uh, code for all the gates here you can see this uh, first one y and and gate output is a and b and second one you can see this or uh, second gate output a or b and third gate output not get uh, not of a mean inverting of a and next one is nand gate output is a and b and next one is nor gate output is a and or b and next one is xor gate output is a x or b similarly x nor gate output is a x nor b so this is our required code then click on save control s go to left side synthesize xst is there there we need to check our syntax so check syntax it will take uh, some time so after this we need to go for rtl schematic uh, yes without any errors uh, that is successfully completed so then go for view rtl schematic here you will get our required schematic diagrams this is uh, called as implementation part so then we need to go for second of that is simulation part so we will get will take some time yes we'll get two options any with any option you can go uh, either top or uh, explorer wizard so click on okay and add create schematic so this is our required output a b are the input y and y and y r x nor x nor and y x or x not so if you double click on this you will get all the gates uh, schematic diagram then go for implementation part simulation part click on left uh, right side one and then again right click new source select vhdl test bench here i am giving all logic gates all logic gates to distinguish this between them i am giving test bench tv then click on next click on next finish here we need to give the inputs for that so for that uh, what you have to do so i am giving direct inputs so that's the reason if any clocks are there just comment on this and uh, and next this is also clock comment here and here clock 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 and this part so completed and next no waiting process this is also clock just carefully observe this finally we'll get it here the output and uh, clock signal is not required i am giving direct inputs here here so then i am giving a equal a equal 0 0 and b equal b equal 0 0 so similarly we need to give the remaining inputs 
four inputs so for that reason just copy the four times three time or three times copy second time third time fourth time so we have given the fourth time now change the inputs zero zero next possibility is zero one i am changing next possibility is one zero next possibility is one one so i have changed the inputs and then control save it control s then click on this test bench you will get it like this icm simulator so click on that then check uh, behavioral syntax yes completed without any errors then simulate behavioral model here we'll get all the logic gates outputs for example if we take and gate and gate output is 0 into 0 so after this after getting this uh, just go for zoom to full view click on that we'll get it our required outputs so if you want uh, you can see like this you can say this a b for example 0 a 0 b 0 so and get is 0 or get is 0 NAND gate is 1 and OR gate is 1 like this our required output will get it like this thank you if you have any doubts please send to me any suggestions subscribe thank you